There was a moment in our history of art that people were just painting like a photographer, reproducing form and shape in very precise, and that was how an artist was rewarded, by basically reproducing what is out here in great detail. And suddenly, at the beginning of the 19th century, and that's the painting I brought from Turner, you know, shape starts being exploded. You know, things start exploding, and the, the painters start saying, I don't want to paint what, what is out there and everybody sees equal. I want to paint what I see, what comes from me, from the inside. I want to representation of my brain's own point of view. That's how, I, I, as a neuroscientist, I would put. And light, the reflection of light, like what we see here in the snowstorm and steamboat mm -hmm. of Turner, uh, was the, uh, basically this beginning of the Impressionist movement in which shape suddenly start to disappear and in modern art, it exploded. Funny enough, this explosion of space, this disappearance of space, coincides with the investigation in physics of the very little and the very big. When you go back to the atomist, atomistic view you know, of nature at the end of the 19th century, and you come with you know, quantum mechanics and uh, general relativity, and space in our conception explodes from the very tiny to the huge, to the whole universe. And I found it very beautiful that these analogies, or this, this period shows this correlation in art and in science, where you're coming out of these boundaries. But you know. I would say that if you look at that Turner, that whereas it's certainly true that he was studying the difficulties and the dramas of perception yeah. itself, I wouldn't read it entirely as an allegory or an expression of his inner states. I think that he would have said that that painting was what it looked like. Yes. I don't think he would have said just that it was what it looked like to me, even though he would have been the first to acknowledge yes. the subjectivity, the partiality of his perspective. No, absolutely. But I really believe, and the same with the Impressionists, the same with all, they were, making a, they were making a claim about the difficulty of capturing perception, the extent to which perception is involved in our understanding of yes. objectivity, but I don't think any of them we're saying this is just an expression of my brain. No, but what I was, I was trying to say is that in my conception of the brain right now, after 30 years in this and going from different models of, of the view, what we actually see as a result is this collision mm -hmm. of what is out here and is being pinged on the brain and what is the brain's own point of view, what is the brain is expecting as reality. And it's this collision, and I, I remember Picasso saying when a journalist asked him in Paris, what was that painting about, one of his cubistic paintings, and he said, well, if I knew, I would not have painted, right. you know? <laughs>